All right, everyone, we've reached the end of E3. Let's talk about what we liked and what we didn't like. I'll go first. I was blown away by Tomb Raider, man. Tomb Raider was just insane. It wasn't playable on the floor, but the demo they showed off, man, I am hyped on that game. It looks absolutely insane. What about you guys? Uh, the best game that I played was actually uh, it was a game called Until Dawn. But I am a huge uh, I'm a huge survival horror fan, horror fan in general. Uh, I really wanted to play Doom 4, but it wasn't playable. So I may have said that that was my best game of E3, but I didn't get a chance to play it. So it looked cool, but I'm gonna have to wait and see. Best game at E3 probably have to be Star Fox. Reminds me of Star Fox 2, beta that's out there. Looks really fun. Colors look really nice. Probably my worst thing was the lines. And everything was a trailer. All right, yeah, worst thing. I'll second that. The line for Star Fox, man. You weren't you weren't playing that unless you were willing to wait two and a half plus hours. That was nuts. Yeah, the lines were, uh, I mean, we've been to E3 the last couple of years. The lines are always pretty long, but, I mean, maybe it's because they're opening to the public a little bit more. Um, the lines this year were, uh, were really big, plus the fact that all the big announcements, so, I mean, your Shenmue 3s, your Final Fantasy 7s, your Doom 4s, your Fallout 4s, all these big announcements, I kind of expected at least one of them to be played at E3. Nothing. It was just trailers and presentations, which, I mean, all that stuff's cool, but, I mean, that's the kind of stuff that you can watch from home. You don't have to be at E3 to watch it. All right, everyone. So that was Game Slean at E3 2015. See you all next year.